Warning! What Jay Cotto's about to say will subject some to swollen Twinkies. At the same time, understand these are just his opinions laced with facts. Also understand, Tommy Sotomayor or no one else has made, paid, or have actually made this man come on this fucking video and explain to you fucking idiots exactly what's going down. Hashtag come back to boxing. God bless. And now, Jay Cotto, the boxing Jedi. What's up, fight fans, moviegoers, Jedis, and Sith, and true life is I'm Jake out of the Boxing Jedi, and welcome to the Boxing and Jedi's Temple. Now, before I get into anything, uh, I gave you a disclaimer by the action guy. Just want to let you guys know, Tommy Sotomayor did not put me up to this. Uh, no one else has put me up to this. I've decided to do this myself, simply because uh, me, as a, as a follower, uh, also as a subscriber... I, I most definitely uh, just uh, want to break down exactly why is it that uh, why is it that I'm on here doing exactly what I'm doing and why I'm going to say what I'm, what I'm going to say. And, and it goes a little something like this, guys. All right? It goes a little something like this. Tommy Sotomayor has been doing this for years. Okay, this man is a what I call a master Jedi. Okay, this guy has not only not only slain trolls and and real racists and uh, you know dysfunctional people. He's also counseled them. He's also put money in their pockets. He's also given them advice. He's also paved way for certain motherfuckers to open up channels and then you know they get mad because i don't know i guess they don't like to live in no one's shadow when they place themselves there i have no fucking idea but yet i do allow me to share now what's going on with mr sotomayor which i feel is a very good man in life i feel that people are totally it's not even misunderstanding a misunderstanding is done by someone who actually doesn't understand what's going on here is selective understanding of Mr. Sotomayor, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. It's called selective understanding. See, a lot of you motherfuckers love to fucking understand shit you select, right? But the natural understanding, when it should come to you fully, unbiasedly, you guys just hate to fucking, hate to understand naturally, right? Okay, so... You guys, you guys got to understand that when, when you're coming at a man like this, you've got to have your shit together. Now, let me, let me break something down really fast, but yet I'm going to take my time. I, for one, am, am a good judge of character. I've done security for years, right? And that's, 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 that's in your job description, right? Allow me to explain why Soto, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor comes down hard on you guys. Meaning, you females that just don't want to educate yourselves. You, you females that just don't want to go forward in life. You females that just are taking your own lives as a fucking joke. And just basically going out there and blaming other people for your fucking mistakes. Right? And then when you find a good man, you shit all over the man... Then you become a statistic, part of the system. The system that Tommy Sotomayor and other truth tellers are out here trying to put you females up on. As well as the brothers. Now there's been, there's been a lot of riffs for years. Oh, I don't like the way Tommy Sotomayor is talking about calling females bitches. And he got a mother, he got a daughter. First of all, what the fuck that got to do with his mother and his daughter? That has nothing to do with that. Second of all... Explain to me exactly why are you guys contradicting yourself, yourselves. See, all of you guys, bro, are fucking simps, man. Each and every one of you fucking guys, man. You guys are fucking sellouts, man. And you contradicting yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Huh? Do you know what I'm saying? You guys are fucking sick, man. 
You know? You got something wrong with your fucking heads, man. Each and every one of you fucking guys are simping. You know, and that's ba that's 95% of what the fuck it is. There's 5% of y'all out of that fucking demographic that are, that are probably, probably feeling that way, honestly. Oh, yo, you can't talk about women like that. No doubt. That's the real men. No doubt. But y'all misunderstanding as well or have selective understanding on that as well. Right? A lot of you guys don't call your moms, your girl, your sisters, your cousins, your aunts, your boys, sisters, all types of even women. You don't even fucking know bitches. So let's just fucking stop it here. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a demographic of stupid, retarded, idiotic motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Ignorant on top of that. That's the first word. Right? You got a whole bunch of motherfuckers coming at this man. So you figure, let's kick him while he's down. Yes, let's form a fucking round table. You guys are fucking ridiculous. You guys make no fucking sense. And let me tell you something. Each and every one of you motherfuckers, man. All the way down to that last Machi Chi looking bitch with the turtleneck. I will smoke each and every one of y'all. Because I'm about this shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm about this shit. I've been doing this shit for eight years. Go look in my motherfucking resume. Look at the dates. It goes all the way the fuck back. I've been doing this for a long time. And it's not fair. I've been on Tommy Sotomayor's show. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking unbiasedly. I've been on this show about maybe what? This is the, the second time that I went on. You know, I've been wanting to go on for a long time. But of course, you know, it's, it's by luck because he has so many, you know, listeners and followers and subscribers. So I just, I just basically got on there. I even let the man know, you know what I'm saying? And I thank him for his hard work. A lot of you guys can't afford, you know, a lot of you guys can't afford uh, a psychology. You guys can't afford psychologists, bro. Did you guys know that, that this man is a psychologist, bro? Did you know he goes to school for that? Did you, did, do you guys know that what he does is fucking psychology, bro? Do you guys know that the shit that he speaks is always facts, bro? Do you think that this guy comes on to YouTube, he's been doing it for years now. You think he just comes on without doing any fucking research? I mean, you guys like to scream dignity and all this shit, but you guys are not understanding. This is a man of fucking dignity. Let me tell you something. My woman is not that woman that's going to be snapping her neck and moving her neck around and giving every other fucking woman attitude because she looked better or she got something better than her. Or because she can't fucking look at her fucking uh, 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 wrongs and shit and can't fucking... No. My, my pop always told me, if you can't, if you can't sit across a dinner table with a female, that ain't the one for you. Who the fuck want to be with loud chicks that, that are, you know, and I can understand you guys wear wigs and all that shit. Okay, fine. If that's how you rock, that's how you rock. But why do you guys glamorize it and then you guys straight up fucking just fucking demand that you get looked and praised at? When you guys weren't even, aren't even able to fucking return the goddamn fucking uh, uh, compliment. A, a lot of you fem females got it twisted. A lot of you guys got it twisted. A lot of you guys got it twisted. And obviously, you guys just follow fad. You guys are fucking followers. Half you motherfuckers didn't even finish high school. It's okay. I'm not saying this, sir. But, but, but education gives you common fucking sense, bro. Just like reading is fundamental. That fucking program may be a little too old for y'all. But that fucking program, reading is fundamental, it was out there. It helped your reading. A lot of you niggas don't have context clues. You don't have a clue of the fucking context that's being fucking, that's being shown before you motherfuckers. Now let me, let me talk about this fucking pastor that came out and, and, and tried to do the most, first of all, that's a blasphemous motherfucker, Okay. On many levels. And I'm not going to go into his sexuality. I'm not going to go into any of that shit. Regard you know what I'm saying? Yes, I am. He's gay, right? He's gay. But that's beyond the fucking fact. Why would you agree to tell a man to fucking debate you? You tell him you got to be at work and then you come back. You don't even reach the fucking man and you make a video and you dox the dude. Now, let me, let me, let me give, give you the definition of dox in case you motherfuckers that came on and didn't fucking know exactly what the fuck was going on when, when, when you were speaking about doxing. You guys don't fucking know meanings. Nothing. So allow J. Cotto, Master Jedi J. Cotto to fucking break it down to you. Dox. Search for and publish private 
or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. That pastor did not show up for the debate. That pastor, when he did that, was fucking malicious intent. When he put Tommy's information out there, that he was he did it with malicious intent. As well as him identifying or publishing his private information as to him being a particular individual. Now, if you cannot understand that, okay, he's not considered a particular individual for the pastor only. The rest of you motherfuckers that have been doxing this man, right? And everyone else, when whoever's cool with him, you could come and dox me, and I'm fucking good. Like I said, I wouldn't come out here if I didn't have any type of ammunition, kid. You feel what I'm saying? I'm Jay Wick, goddammit. I'm ready for all types of smoke. Call me the smoke furnace, the fucking smoke shop. I, I'm with it. I'm with it. On this shit, ain't nobody touch me. I go through boxing debates almost every fucking day. I'm on the debate stage every fucking day. So y'all can, can save it with that shit. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. So, it comes down to the point now that people don't understand what the fuck doxing is. Why? Because you're using the word to your own fucking benefit? You fucking idiots. You simpletons, you. You premature ass niggas. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fucking use words at your convenience. Like a fucking leftist. But 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 you're not. No, fuck that. I'm not even going to say excuse me because that's what's going on. Fuck that. You either be real or get the fuck out. I don't care. Fuck you motherfuckers. Each and every one of you motherfuckers who are, who are bringing you, uh, uh, a division and breaking unity. Fuck each and every one of y'all. Now, let's go to another word. That motherfuckers, I, 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 that motherfuckers are older than me and they had no idea what the fuck. They keep bringing it up. They keep bringing this shit up. Talking about a sector. Sector. Let me explain to you what sector is. Okay? It's an area or portion that, that, that is distinct from others. In YouTube, you guys are not considered a sector. It's considered a community. That's first of all. Second of all, there, there are a portion of y'all not large enough. And you guys are not distinct from each other. You're saying the same shit this nigga and this bitch said. So how the how in the highest fuck are you guys a sector? You guys are, are a community. There are many communities. I come from the boxing community, the Star Wars community, the fucking diorama community, the collector's community. I'm all over fucking YouTube. I know what the fuck I'm doing. And so does Tommy Sotomayor. And each and every one of y'all gotta understand. If you wear the fucking outfit... You're, you're part of the faction So if you're out there Talking all this shit Oh fuck you And fuck this ice cream truck I'm in flood Fuck this ice cream truck You know what I mean You guys are out there Talking about You know you females Oh I'm this and I'm that And I'm a queen and Let me tell you something and This is not brainwashing kid Cause I've been thinking about this shit Way before He's telling the truth He's telling the truth you see a natural fucking white woman or a natural Latina woman or a natural Asian woman and what do you guys do? You guys get mad. You guys start hating her. You want to cut her face up so she can look more fucked up than you. You hating that this bitch has some type of cervical or vaginal cancer so she can get the fuck out of your way. Look how fucking selfish and fucked up y'all are. Y'all talk about unity there. Crispy this, crispy that. You motherfuckers are not understanding that he is, he is a fellow black man. He is a brother. He is your brother. And it is y'all that are being racist. It is y'all that are stepping off your platform, going out of your way to find something to nitpick within this fucking dude in order to fucking hate everything that he's saying, which is fucking fact. So explain to me how in the fuck is it that this man has, all, has degrees, has, has counseled the human spirit, has come on here, has given advice, and we've seen it, and you guys dare to nitpick and take it apart? How, how is that? How is that? 
The word coon is always thrown around when motherfuckers don't agree and shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Pro-black this, pro... There's nothing pro-black about y'all because if it was pro-black, y'all would be accepting each other as fellow brothers and sisters. Not worrying about the fuck he had to say unless it was fucking critically wrong. And there's nothing that Tommy Sotomayor is saying that's critically fucking wrong. You know, before Tony, uh, Tommy Sotomayor was saying this shit, there have been guys that have been saying this shit with even more vulgarity behind it. Andrew Dice Clay... I mean, you've got your comedians too. Oh, did I also mention he's a fucking stand-up comedian as well and does his material? So he brings it to us on a platform where we're going to fucking understand. You stupid sons of bitches. You guys are fucking retarded. Once again, disclaimer. Tommy Sotomayor or anyone did not put Jay Cotto up to this video. So please understand, if your Twinkies are swollen, it's simply because what, the, what this young man has been intaking... This whole fucking time. So, now it gets to that point. Now it gets to that point. Let me give my apologies to Mrs. Uh, Tommy Sotomayor. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I had to speak. I'm tired of it. You know, it also, it also comes... Not, not only do you go through it. You know what I'm saying, my brother? Not only do you go through it. I've gone through it from the boxing community where they're taking one fighter and, and, and because he's black, they're playing the skin politics because he's an African-American, right? These, these guys want to want to fucking straight up put him on top of the, the pedestal, whatever the fuck he does, whatever he says, it's all good. He can have talking points with racism and all that shit. To, and these guys, and but they're being racist, calling everybody a coon because you don't agree, you know? A uh, uh, fucking spick this and you know what I'm saying? Oh, you Mexican wet back that and some other shit. I mean, as an uploader, my brother, I'm going through it too. And it trickles down. I'm not saying it's trickling down from you because it's been everywhere. But I see where you're coming from. This is why I had to speak up on it. And, and let me tell you something. There have been other uploaders that have made videos, you know, defending me when it came to this shit. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, and, and since I'm a follower, right, and since I'm a subscriber, I'm going to speak on it. So I'm sorry. I do not mean to offend you. You know, I don't mean to make you look like I'm fighting your battles, which I'm not. I'm, I'm just speaking in defense of all manhood, of all brotherhood, of, of, of you know what I'm saying, all, all people who are trying to, 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 you know, have a decent YouTube channel. Some people have a YouTube career. Some people are trying to make a YouTube career. Some people claim they have a YouTube fucking career and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And they think that by, 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 by typing somebody's name out or, or, or doxing them or doing some other shit or catching the heat after, after one month. I don't understand how motherfuckers can actually want to be next when Tommy slays a nigga or a bitch. Y'all motherfuckers get slayed and you're like, okay, I'm next. Do you think you actually catch fame? Who the fuck wants to be, who wants to catch fame off of being a piece of meat off a fucking a defeated meat rack, son? A room full of defeated niggas. You want to be part of that? That shit don't bring you no subs. You lose subs if anything. And let let me exp and let me just say another thing. I do not monetize. I, I don't have anything going on on my channel that had consists of me getting paid for anything. So I don't want nobody thinking I'm using his name. I don't want him to think, sir, that I'm using your name. No, this is straight from the heart. I've been on your show twice. We spoke on the phone. You know what I'm saying? We spoke about that. Nothing. Start fucking. Remember? Yes, that's me. You know what I mean? So. <coughs> You got all these guys that are envious. All these gentlemen that are envious. Envious. I'm talking about envy. Oh, when I see you, I'm going to fuck you up. Tommy has been there. Motherfuckers ain't do a goddamn thing. My man kept it. None, none, none. With a fucking gun on the side. Mother, nothing. 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 And you guys still doubt this man? You guys are still fucking with this guy? You guys are still fucking with the nation? Okay. No problem. Let me let me debunk something else. Everybody's in this fucking business about he don't pay child support. He ain't good to his fucking uh, 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 his children. He don't take care of his son. His baby mama. He don't listen, man. Listen, you fucking bastards. Listen. Where are the people that you are calling victims that have been victimized by this man? Supposedly, wh wh where are they? Why haven't they come out and have said? Mr. Sotomayor is doing and has done everything that you fucking fuck faces have stated. Why hasn't that happened? Why hasn't that happened? Explain that to me. 
It's all about facts here. It's all about facts over there on his channel. It's all about facts in the world with real fucking people. So why are you fugazi ass niggas? You epoxy, uh, you epoxy in the face ass niggas. You fucking prideful motherfuckers for nothing. Why? Why do you do this to people? It makes no fucking sense. Half of y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So you think that putting on makeup to come out on a fucking video to catch the, the, the little bit of fucking heat, the lukewarm heat that you got and you think that this is going to help you progress in your YouTube career. Do you guys know that Tommy does work? See, if he does this, right? And, 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 and he makes his money he gives us the product. He also takes time time out of his out of his schedule to counsel some motherfuckers, right? No no offense to anybody or any to his clients. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, loose talk. So where, where do you see this man not helping a fellow brother? Not helping a fellow sister? I've seen women transition into being wild fucking crazy fucking women and being their fucking natural selves. What Tommy Sotomayor is to a lot of you guys out there, and when I say guys, I'm talking about women too. I don't give a fuck about that pronoun shit. Fuck that. Fuck all that. What, 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 is, what, what, what you're not seeing here is that this man is a mirror. To you motherfuckers And you just don't like it You don't like ugly But everything you've been doing Everything you've been saying All your actions are fucking ugly 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 So exactly how is it that You find it ugly But you're not finding yourselves ugly See it's always that you motherfuckers that are always come out and say You did wrong You're doing this wrong But you won't check yourselves You guys just won't check yourselves Tommy has a right to speak on women You know why? You know why? Because he has a daughter Just like I have too Who the fuck wants their daughters to grow up like any fucking woman that's growing up in today's fucking era? Who the fuck wants that? Who the fuck wants that? Who the fuck wants that? You guys are always talking about his daughter. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. That shit was debunked a long time ago. Those are your talking points. They're as tired as an old man running a marathon on his 80th fucking birthday. Let's stop this shit already. Every time you do that, you give him power. You make him look like the man that he is. You guys just straight up are the are, are just the fuel. So you guys got to understand, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot try to put a man down and try to correct his life and try to put his information out there and try to say he's this and that when he's more fucking successful than you. When he has helped and put money in fucking people's pockets and has helped out with charity more than fucking you. And every day that he comes on to this motherfucking uh, platform. And he has, he comes out on this platform. Regardless, he's getting donations. Regardless, it's, a cha it's charity. He's doing it out of his good fucking heart, bro. He's letting you know. It's called strong love, you stupid sons of bitches. It's called strong love. You ever never had that? You never had a homeboy or uncle or even your father tell you, get the fuck up before I beat your ass. That's really, son, I hate to see you on the fucking floor like that. Get up. That's what that is. I had a lot of it. Do you punk motherfuckers have any of that instilled in your motherfucking regimen of life? I don't think so. So why the fuck is it that you go and you, you think that by making these little communities that you call sectors that aren't really fucking sectors. Why the fuck is it that you guys think that jumping a man, because he's already manhandled y'all. This motherfucker done Bruce Lee kicked all you motherfuckers. You want to you wanna set up the baits and then go and dox the man and think that you got one on him? He's defeated. No, no. And the reason why Tommy was mad, from my understanding, 
is because he's tired of, of, of his own people, his brothers, his sisters. He's tired of you not uplifting your fucking selves. He's tired of fucking being part of that demographic and looking at you stupid motherfuckers like, damn, son. When, 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 why are you making us look bad, bro? Then, then you want to talk shit, the man, this, the man, that, um, held back by this. You holding yourselves back. You're killing your fucking selves. But he's a sellout. Motherfuckers like me that understand are a sellout. Really. You guys have no fucking grips in your own life. You guys have no grips in life itself. You guys have no fucking type of understanding. And if any of you motherfuckers want to come down here and bring the smoke to me, I'm more than happy to fucking wash my fucking hands with you guys. Easy. You guys are easy work. But this shit, doxing, Tommy Sotomayor, talking about his mother, his sister, you know, out of content, you're supposed to debate, and you guys are fucking bringing up shit that, that has nothing to do with the debate. You guys are fucking disgusting. It's, it's gross. And it needs to stop. You get no points for that. You like to talk about he got a mother, he got this, he got that. You guys are throwing the first fucking stone, and I know each and every one of y'all, each and every one of y'all, Motherfucking done, done cursed your own mother, your girls, or whatever the fuck you with that are female. I know y'all done call them bitches as well. So let's stop it. Let's stop it. No one's hands are clean here when it comes to shit like that. So y'all niggas gotta stop this shit. Y'all bitches need to stop this shit. Instead of worrying about what the fuck he's making in his super chats and everything, the man, the man is doing what he's doing. This is what he does. Why the fuck don't y'all understand that? The rest of these little fucking. Carbon copies of this nigga And even some of y'all that he fucking helped g Help, you know, y'all get up on Y'all motherfuckers are out here Fucking blaming this man Get mad because you ain't going nowhere You motherfuckers suck You got no fucking content You guys have no fucking diction Nothing You guys can't get on here and do shit You guys got no impersonations You guys the fucking ludicrous, man I'm telling you, you guys the fucking ludicrous We shouldn't even think of you guys You guys fucking suck, I swear to God you guys fucking suck. And you get mad. Yeah, I smoke weed too, nigga. Yeah, I do my thing. But it doesn't mean I'm going to come on and think of that smoking weed because there's people that smoke weed and that follow me are going to give me thumbs up, cash, and all that shit because I'm doing that. You guys need creativity. You guys need to write your programs down before you come out on fucking camera. Now, I'm not one to talk. I had many subscribers, a lot of unsubscribed because there's a lot of motherfuckers who can't handle the truth. I'm going through this shit on platforms, on different platforms, Star Wars, boxing, a lot of different platforms. Motherfuckers can't handle the truth, so they leave, then they come back. I don't even care about a sub count, because sub counts come and they go, they go up and they go fucking down like my erection, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. What I do give a fuck about, though, what I do give a fuck about, is keeping something... That a lot of motherfuckers are trying to do something with to, 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 to better themselves and to fucking pay it forward and help other fucking people. And people like you motherfuckers that have nothing, you one life to live watching ass niggas. You fucking Jerry Springer ticket punching ass niggas. All of you fucking Steve Wilkos fucking sign holding ass niggas. All of you motherfuckers have nothing else better to do. Claiming you got jobs but dropping like 20, 30 fucking videos a fucking hour. Come on bro, you guys expose yourselves by your actions. Do you not understand this shit? You stupid motherfuckers. I, for one, am done. And, and, and since I, I am a subscriber, and since I, I am a fucking man, and since Tommy Sotomayor, along with you two, even you two, are my brothers, I'm coming, not to the defense, but I'm coming to put my two cents in to fucking clarify this shit. Once again, I do not get no type of monetizations. I don't get no money. If you do see any type of fucking commercials on my shit, it's because... I either use music content or something when I was doing something. I doubt if you see it on this one because, you know what I mean? So I don't get none of that. I'm not making no fame. I don't even care about subscribers. Look at my count. You know what I'm saying? I love my subscribers, but I'm talking about I don't care about the, sub, the sub count. You know what I'm saying? That, that don't bother me. If they walk them up aboard, I take them as people. I don't care about that. But the work ethic that motherfuckers display on here, it's art. This shit is art. What I do, what Tommy Sotomayor uh, does, what Tommy Sotomayor does, what other people do, it's art. People that, that have a following, have a decent base, have, have other platforms to show their stuff on, that are, that are actually making money, moving forward, progressing, putting food on the table, even with this shit. Leave them alone. Stop using the name. 
Stop looking for things to nitpick because at the same time, as you pick apart that person, you are displaying yourself as well. Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotto, the Master Jedi, a.k.a. the Boxing Jedi, a.k.a. Jay Wick, a.k.a. Jay Windu, your boy. Telling you all the truth in Star Wars, boxing, the movies, and life itself. God bless Tommy Sotomayor and every, each and every one of his followers and everyone out there that knows the fucking truth about things. And peace to all my subscribers. You know what I mean? God bless. Stay vigilant. Peace, guys.